46% of engineering employers think that young people entering the workforce do not have the technical or soft skills they need to work in their industry. If this is the case, are employers prepared and equipped with the appropriate skills for the roles that they need to fill as they start to rebuild after the coronavirus pandemic and Brexit? Last year, 2021, has been particularly challenging for engineering employers, underpinned by Brexit and the COVID-19 pandemic. But business priorities are moving away from cost reductions and starting to consider new investments in facilities, operations and workforce. This, coupled with a drive to deliver on the UK's net zero targets and the emergence in engineering companies of new roles, has meant that we are seeing a sustained skills gap that will continue to grow unless government and industry take action. We conducted a survey of businesses to gauge the current state of skills and demand in the industry, examining the skills challenge, barriers and future skills needed. We found that almost half of engineering employers experience difficulties in the skills available to them in external labour market when they try to recruit. Over a quarter say the greatest skills gaps in their organisation are in high skilled roles. Most are aware of the UK government's target to reduce greenhouse gas emission to net zero by 2050, but 81% think their organisation needs additional skills to deliver it. Young people entering the workforce is often a valuable pipeline of new skills, but many engineering employers have concerns. Just under half think that young people do not have the technical or soft skills they need. While some are prepared to offer training to supplement these skills, others do not have the resources and instead do not recruit from this pipeline. To solve this skills crisis, there needs to be deeper engagement between government, employers and the education system to produce a talent pipeline that can sustain a thriving UK economy. Around half the respondents call on the UK government to provide more funding for apprenticeships and better careers advice in schools, as well as business grants for training and reskilling programmes to help them hit these targets. Though businesses are recovering from the uncertainty of last year, engineering employers should be conscious of the skills they will need in the near future, building resilience and preparedness into their current strategies.